That is so cool. I want to go on her trips. All right, weather-wise, uh, another dry day today, another 90-degree day today, so another warm one. By this time tomorrow, there's going to be a whole lot more rain on radar than we have seen any day this week. Very wet conditions are expected, especially on Sunday. I had to up our rain chances for Sunday, and that's the key thing to know about changes for the weekend. 90s where we sit right now, sunny skies. There are a couple stray showers that have popped up in our Kentucky tier, which might have you wondering, well, then why are you starting in Florida? Well, we got to take a quick peek at the tropics. Yesterday was the peak of hurricane season. And today, actually just about 20 minutes ago at the top of 4 o'clock, the National Hurricane Center has identified an area just off the coast of Miami as being organized enough to be a tropical depression. So this is the latest one, Tropical Depression 19. It will cross the southern tip of Florida tonight and then reemerge in the Gulf, bringing very heavy rain along the Gulf Coast. I show this to you because it's new and because depending on the track of this moisture, we may be seeing some impacts from this by late next week. This time next week, depending on where that moisture tracks, once it comes inland, it could set the stage for wetter conditions for us. That's next week. We've got this weekend to get through first, right? Mostly quiet conditions out there. There were a couple teeny tiny showers that are trying to pop up in parts of Trigg County. All in all, it is another mostly dry day. Warm too. 80s, 90 in Nashville, 90 in Dixon, same thing Camden, 90 degrees. We'll turn the mercury down a little bit this weekend because of those rain chances increasing. So this is what you need to be prepared for. Saturday, 40% chance. Sunday, 60%. That is a change from the thinking that we had yesterday. The other key thing to know is the timing. The showers and storms for tomorrow will mainly be in the afternoon and through the sunset time frame, so your morning looks dry. Sunday, all day. On and off, it's not going to rain steadily the whole time, but we're going to have scattered showers and storms around in the morning, lunchtime, sunset, on and off throughout the end of your weekend. Here's a sneak peek at some computer modeling. Tonight, we've got more moisture coming in out of the south, some more humid conditions coming in, and by the time we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see showers and storms fire. We're not expecting severe weather, but any one of these will have some heavy downpours with them, efficient downpours. Little bit of a lull overnight, and then by the time we head into the AM hours, the sunrise hours of Sunday, we'll have more showers and storms. That's as the actual cold front marches across our area. So expect an unsettled weekend. You'll have dry pockets, but you're also going to have some soaking pockets as well. 89 tomorrow is the warmest day that we've got in the next seven. Once this cold front comes through, it will help to turn the mercury down just a bit. As far as rain chances for the middle and end of next week, big question mark there as far as tropical depression 19 since it has just formed computer models, uh, upper air sampling, all the things we do as meteorologists to sample the atmosphere. We're going to get more information as that system comes on shore and it remains to be seen when or if that moisture makes it here. The key thing to know now is to be prepared. We could have some heavy rain around by the end of next week, but there's a lot that can change with that as well and we'll keep a close eye on it. Carrie.